Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and tonight we are going to make a witch's hat and a scarecrow hat. Actually, I'll be in this outfit for the witch's hat and probably not the scarecrow hat, but we're gonna start it tonight and see how far I get. So let me show you the supplies you're gonna need. A good pair of scissors, I'm using my sewing scissors. A glue gun, glue sticks. You're gonna need a good pair of wire nips, because I'll show you in a second. Um, creepy cloth from the Dollar Tree. I'm using three of them, and I'm gonna show you how I cut them in a second. Um, and I'm using purple, but you can use whatever color you want of this speckled tool. This is for the witch's hat. And now for, that's gonna be all Dollar Tree. For the scarecrow hat, I went to Joann's and I got some ribbon. Uh, this gold polka dot was $1.97. I got some of this green burlapy looking. I grabbed a couple sunflowers, cause the scarecrow hat's gonna be for fall. I'm bending over. I am using some Excelsior from the Dollar Tree for my scarecrow. And then from Joanne, I got two yards of burlap, which was $2.79 a yard on sale. It was regularly $3.99. And I got the dark brown. It comes in a ton of colors. But I have to cut this, which is probably why we won't be doing this tonight. And I want to show you how to cut burlap, so that's going to require some timing. So we'll do the, the witchy one tonight. Now, I have two of these witch's wire hats. This, this one here is for the witch. We're gonna use that today. For the scarecrow, I have one as well. But if you can see here, I cut out, this is why, I'm making a mess it's down here. This is why you need the wire nips. I cut out this one and this one, the top two wires out of the witch's one. Um, and I bent it just like over like that so it looks like a scarecrow hat and not like a witch's hat. So that's what we're gonna use for the scarecrow. Um, but tonight we're using the witch's one. So let me turn you around so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna show you how I cut the creepy cloth and we got the glue gun heating up because we'll need that and this is messy so now I'm gonna have to vacuum tonight all right so you give me one moment now obviously the creepy cloth is bigger than this I opened it up and I made sure it was folded in half so this is really four layers of it just easier to cut and I'm cutting all three of these together um, on my cutting board I kind of I'm gonna cut this one in half, but I try to do like four inches, but it doesn't really matter. You just wanna cut it into strips because I feel like that's gonna be easier to work with. And this cuts super easy. And I'll show you what it looks like. If you've never seen the creepy crop, it almost looks like fishnet. Um, so I cut it in half, and then what I do is I open it and again, it doesn't matter because we're gonna mush all this together. And so we have a pretty long piece of this that's doubled because we want it to cover and it will, I tried it out already. And I'm pretty sure that three of these is going to be enough to do what we're gonna do. Okay, I'll open these other ones in a little bit. So right now, we have, it's all cut and opened up behind us and this size strips. I'm gonna move you, I need to move that and this. And look at all this. That's what I said, I'm gonna have to vacuum. That's okay. Now, I'm going to start, let me get everything out of our way. I do have a candle burning back here too. But the cats are downstairs resting or something, who knows. I'm going to start with the tip of the hat and I will show you what my plan is. So I'm taking one strip that's doubled 
and I'm putting it up in here right like that and I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue here just to kind of hold it while I start wrapping it don't touch it to the t to that you'll get like things all right so it doesn't even have to be perfect I just want it secured at the very top so I went up and under and I secured it so now it's attached and I'm just going to start wrapping it around. Now, at the beginning, I really want it secure. Once it's going, I don't necessarily need it to be all gluey. But at the top, I want this point. And in order to get that, I really need to secure it with some hot glue. So on the first couple rounds of this, we're just gonna glue it down, just to make sure that it stays. And if you can see, it seeps up through, so too much glue is not a good idea. However, if you also can see, these strips really cover it well. And this is all I'm doing. Now every once in a while, I'm gonna put a little glue, because I don't want this sliding down. And I'll just hold it and kind of let it dry in there. I don't want it, you know, sliding. So we have to secure it every couple wraps. And then obviously when we add the next piece of this creepy cloth, this is going to be a nice hat. You could decorate with all kinds of embellishments from the Dollar Tree, like the spiders, the eyeballs, depends how creepy you want it to be. I'm not a huge fan of the creep, so <laughs> there we go. I finished that. I'm gonna let it, even if it's a little scraggly over here, I'm gonna trim it. I'm sorry, I hope you were able to see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna obviously have a back and a front. So I'm going to grab another piece and I'm just going to keep gluing and wrapping, gluing and wrapping and I will come back once I have the whole top completed and we're going to start working down here. Alrighty guys, I'm back with ya. Ugh, got everything all tangled up here. I finished wrapping the top. Oops, I'm going to need that. I have to go get that. I finished wrapping the top with the creepy cloth and I'm loving how this is turning out. This is gonna be the front. Now I went digging through my stuff and I do have some purple glitter bats. I've decided to use all the tooling down here. I found in my stash, and they do have these this year, the witch's legs and I'm gonna use this purple to do the hat band. And I need to go get that piece of ribbon that fell because I'm also adding some ribbon to give this a little bulk to it. And I might want to add some more. We'll just have to kind of see how it plays out here. And I'm going to show you in a second what I did. And I have some of this ribbon just to go in the center as well. So I have like, I think five of these left is what I counted of the creepy cloth. I'm going to include, let me get this up here where you can see better, one ribbon and you just kind of want to fold it up and attach it right here for now. And I cut the tooling in half and this is the rest of the tooling. So I'm just going to make a little bundle here of the three. I've already done one direction just to see how it was going to work, but I'm going to show you going back and it's the same process each direction. So I cut some of these orange pipe cleaners in half, but I left this one whole at the end for the, a very important reason. What we're gonna do, you kinda want these as even as you can, but it's not really that big of a deal on the end. I just knotted them up. I'm going to take this pipe cleaner and tighten it down pretty tight, but not so much that it breaks. <laughs> Then we're going to flip the hat over to the back side because what I want to do is get this up to the tip and tuck it in through the hat. 
and then use these pipe cleaners to, and I'm just going under it here, using the pipe cleaners to secure this end up under here. And then I'll twist it. All these will get trimmed at the end. So if you can see, I folded it over the end, oh, you can't see. I folded over the end of the witch's hat and knotted it off. It's kind of fussy just because it's a tight little space that you're dealing with. The point is to get it in there so you don't see it from the front side. And when I went the other direction, I have extra bits and I want to leave them for now because I may want to like readjust to get everybody puffy. I don't need as much at this end. And that's the stuff that was on the back. So I have my black creepy cloth here. It's pretty secure. I have this orange and black polka dot ribbon because we like polka dots. And then we have this purple tool, and I'm just doing like a little twist with one of them. Take it, wrap it around, just so you can kind of see. Now the next step, I'm gonna do the top up here. So I'm gonna go under with just a half of a one on the wire. Let me bring it down where you can see it a little better. Half of a one on the wire, twist it up, and it slides freely, which is nice. And then I'm going to take this bundle, just toss it over there. I want to get it into here with some, with some play. You know, you don't want it tight. And then you just twist your pipe cleaners. You can use whole ones if you want. It doesn't matter. You're going to trim them off anyway. Do a couple twists. And then you want to go to the back side. I could just do it by feel, but I'll show you. So these are the top, oop, where'd it go? I lost it. Did I already twist it? Oh, I had already twisted it. Okay, so I just bring it down to the back side and I'll have two and I do it with my fingers and you just twist it up down here on the bottom. Just to hold it in place, but it can still slide freely. But again, I do that part by feel so I don't have to keep flopping this around. It's a little fiddly, but I will tell you. And I'm going to cross these over each other. So the next one is going to go here below where the other one ended for now. We'll see how that works out. Um, again, just kind of twist things up so they look like they're woven together. And you want to see some of the black because obviously it's a witch's hat. So I'm just going to kind of do that and come over here. Um, bring the ribbon up and the tooling and I'm over here and then we're gonna go back and fluff everybody up so I do a couple twists on the front you want to be careful you can break these pipe cleaners just so you know go into the back side Oop, go into the back side here and it's less fidgety if you use a whole pipe cleaner and there that just attaches right like that and then we're gonna keep moving we're gonna take this whole bundle here and it probably only needs one more tie because the ends like I said you don't need it all but anything left over we're gonna use so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go back up here because I feel like it needs to end up top here I'm gonna actually use a whole one and show you I was being cheap but they're pipe cleaners let's be honest here guys they're a dollar um, and I chose to use the orange sparkly because I want to be able if I see it I want it to match the ribbon and match the hat so my orange purple and black theme so right now we have this up here I'm hoping you see do a couple twists and then we're going to go around to the back side. I, whoop, let me show you what I'm doing here. I flipped it over and now I think you can see better. I'm just twisting these. And again, I will go back and snip all these off when the front is done. If you want more ribbon, more tooling, more whatever, I would say go for it. So, 
I have a hot glue gun, but that's for the other end. I'm going to sneeze, probably. Okay. So right now, if you can see, I've got the purple tooling, but I also have this orange ribbon. So I'm just fluffing, opening things up, making it look bigger than it is. Right now, it's all pretty packed together. And you want to do the underside as well and get this one up here. Um, you know, this is the under, but you really want to kind of open everything up and give it a good sighting of the orange and the tooling. And if you want to pull some tooling out, I mean, you it's not attached so tight that you can't pull things out so you can see what you're doing. So we have that. Now, if you can see here, I have a little bit of this, the bar but I have all this right here. So I'm just going to wrap it around this bar just a couple times. You just wanna fill everything in and then I'll turn it over. And up here where I have leftover pipe cleaner, just attach it there. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason. There is no right way to do this. I like the rusticness of it. Now I'm going to take my nips. Do not use your sewing scissors to cut these pipe cleaners. You will ruin them. Oh. And then whatever's left, I'm just going to cut it off for that side. We have the other side to do here in a second. But do you see how that automatically just filled that in and made it look fluffy? We can go back in. I probably will attach the bats down here, but let's see what's going on this side first. Again, I have this empty spot right here, and I have pipe cleaner, so we're going to do that, and you want to hide the ends of everything, so I'm just wrapping it around through the hole. Like I said, it's fussy. Pull that back, and then we're going to do one more, because I like the purple to show, too, if we can. All right. So I just wrapped it through twice. I'm gonna flip it over. And that's why I left these on here. Tuck that in. It's just gonna hold everything in place. You're not going through a ton of glue. Um, you could also use floral wire for sure. All right, so we are going to nip those off. We're gonna nip these off. Now, why I'm back here, I need to make a hanger to hang this on my front door. So I'm just gonna feel for a cross wire right here. Oops, I need to trim this off first. Fabric scissors for fabric, nips for metal. All right, I am just a mess, but feel for your wire. The middle, there's a crossbar in here and it's right here. I can feel it. I'm just going to kind of search for it on the back side, not through the front side. And I'm fishing my pipe cleaner through once and twice. We're going to make a hanger. It's not heavy, so this will hold it just fine. But I do want to go around twice. And then up the top, I'm just gonna twist it. Like I'll put my finger in here and twist it to make the loop for it to hang on my wreath holder. Well, it's on the back side. We might as well do that, right? Okay, so there's my hanger. And here is the front side. Oh, I think it's adorable. Definitely could use diff more ribbon. I may come back in with some different ribbon and just glue it into place, but for now, and I do have places down here that I could glue the bats um, for sure. And let's just fluff. I'll be, I'm a fluffer. I can't help it. I'll be doing this forever just because I want it to look big and yummy. So that's what the bottom is going to look like. I have, these are on these sticky thingies, but let's be honest, they're just easier to pop them off. I don't know how many bats I want to attach, but I definitely want this one here. So I'm just going to put an ample amount of hot glue on the back. 
and put that right there. You could do eyeballs, like I said. Um, they have little bugs that you could use. I like this bat. So I'm doing the bats. Plus, let's be honest, it's what I have available. And then I'm going to turn them different directions. I want them like flying around. And like I said, normally I don't like cutesy, kitschy stuff, but I feel like the texture of this is going to help me with that. And I'm just going to attach the back down here. And at the end, I'll show you how they're all going to attach and everything is going to look. And then we're going to do one more over here somewhere, probably opposite of that, like go in that direction. And they just give you a little more texture and eye appeal. And then we'll put him or her, I suppose, right here. Now, the last thing we have to do is the ribbon to make the band on the witch's hat that will match. So I'm just gonna snip these off this ring as far high up as I can. And then at the bottom, I'm just gonna cut them at the foot. I'll keep the feet, maybe we'll do something else with them. But, all right, so I cut off, and then I need to determine, do I want a single band width, or do I want a double band width? And I think I just want the single band width. And we're probably going to attach this up top somewhere. So while this is all drying, let me dry yet, guys? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, they seem to be attached. So we're going to flip this hat over one more time. Lies. It's probably going to be more than one time. But I need some hot glue here. This won't go all the way around, which is perfectly fine because this is the back. So I just hot glued this witch's leg, if you will, to it. And then we're gonna wrap it around to the other side. And I'm gonna attach it over here. Super easy, guys. Super easy, and all of this is Dollar Tree items. Everything on here but the hot glue, which I buy mine at Joanne. I don't care for the Dollar Tree hot glue, and for the price, I prefer just to buy it at Joanne. All right, are you ready? <gasps> there we go. I am very happy with the band and how it turned out. I would like to just secure it a little bit on the front side. So it doesn't, again, slide around. I know it's not all in the view, but I wanted you to be able to see the bottom portion. And then I will show you this hung up. And what this one looks like. But I think it looks pretty darn cute. And if you can see the texture with this creepy cloth, and three was enough, but if you want um, larger loops at the bottom and fuller, you can maybe buy another, another one. Um, also, you could start tucking things up under here. Get some pantyhose, tuck it up under here. Get a bulkier. All kinds of things you can do. But I don't mind it, and I think it's adorable. And that is my first project with the witch's hat. And I'll, I'm going to go hang it up and give you a quick look at it before I start the next one. The last step I'm going to do, because I decided I wasn't loving how flat it was, is I have some leftover ribbons from when I did my super fun bow tutorial. And I'm going to layer three of them. Up. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just layering them up. Taking a length of them, cutting it. It doesn't matter how long. I have some floral wire here that I just cut some pieces, folding these in half, not all together. So in half, in half, and in half. 
So I have three in half. Just gonna mush it up. And twist them together. With this floral wire, you could use the pipe cleaners too, it doesn't matter. I'll show you one with, if I can find a pipe cleaner here. So I'm just twisting them pretty tightly together. Take my nips and snip off the extra. Then you want to just kind of spread them out like this. So they're puffy. And I'm going to go along the top here. So hot glue, yeah, hot glue this. Oops, sorry. I know I was off screen. Hot glue that. And then I'm just going to come up under here and let it attach itself. And it will. And you just want to kind of fluff them up once they're dry. I like that along the top. I think it gives it some extra texture up here. Oops. Let's get you attached. There we go. It's just going to take a minute to dry, but I feel like it gives it a little extra texture and some, um, you know, some bulk. So we're going to do it again. And then I'm not even picking an order here. I'm just folding them in half, whatever they feel like. We're not being too fussy. These are actually even smaller, but that's okay. Here, I'll get a pipe cleaner and show ya. Not that one. Or not. I thought I had some cut ones over here, but I'll just grab a big one. You're just using a pipe cleaner. It's actually probably easier on the old hands than the floral wire would be. Nip it off. You can use that for the next one. I like to fluff them open just so I can see how they're gonna lay. And you wanna, I like to separate them a little bit like a bow. It's the biggest cheater bow I've ever done in my career. <laughs> and then I'm just hot gluing it and I'm literally putting a blob of hot glue on it and tucking it up under there. And so you don't even know like one is bigger than the other because you're just fluffing and tucking. And it will attach itself. I just feel like it gives it a little more bulk in the middle. I may add a few more or one or two more on the sides, but I don't think so. I like it like this. Get some fluff going. And then I will show you the finished product. Alrighty, and here is the finished product. I'm pretty happy with this bow and my witch's hat and how it all turned out. So I just added some fluff there in the center. Again, I can mess with the ends here. And I will to get them to lay properly. But that is my take on this wire mesh witch's hat. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Bye.